Chapter 49, Mary Borealis versus Emperor Siegfried. Eventually, the subterouters realized the train's tracks could be easily destroyed. So, they fired at the tracks just before the train reached Enchantamalia. The Kabbalistic Express came to a complete stop. However, before we stopped, Jeanette got out her healing herbal tea and poured an entire glass of it into my mouth. Come on, Haley, she said. Wake up, nothing happened, but there was no time to wait. Because outside the train, the subterouters prepared for a violent final battle before the alignment. Go, yelled Fisher. We'll stay here with Haley, yelled Buck. The Kabbalistic Express had arrived at its final stop, the final battlefield. Here, all of our fates would be determined. Outside, Siegfried and the other subterouters caught up with us, transformed back into evil wizards, and were ready to finish this war once and for all. Mary Borealis and the other Kabbalistics ran outside and prepared for battle. Kabbalistics, she said, if I cannot defeat Siegfried, you must continue the fight for me. My sacrifice must not be in vain. Now, take your positions while I take mine. Siegfried smiled at them when they ran outside. Sadness and casualties. Sadness and casualties. Sadness and casualties. He said, so, this is how it ends. I offer you a place on earth that we can call our own, and you divide our family. I offer your chosen one friendship, and she rubbed it in my face. Now, give me the girl. All of the Kabbalistics stood together. If you want her, said Damien, you're going to have to get through us. Everybody else posed for battle. Kenos laughed. How ironic. He said, the knights of the round table. Leave them alone yelled Mary Borealis. Siegfried smiled at her. Your fellow Kabbalistics are wise, Borealis. He said, they know which battle is not theirs to fight. I have no idea on how to stop your ritual, Siegfried, said Mary. She looked at Siegfried bravely. I hereby challenge you to a duel to the finish, she yelled. I agree, said Siegfried with an evil chuckle, to the finish. They got out their weapons, the legend staff, and the dark dagger, which could also turn into a sword, and the battle began. Your quest for power ends here and now, Siegfried, said Mary as their weapons locked. You're so pathetic, said Siegfried, you still want to defend weaklings. He blasted her with a fireball and laughed. People are strong, together, said Mary. Very well, said Siegfried. Let's end this. They both made a battle pose. Your desire for power will never end, will it, Siegfried? Asked the matriarch. Well, it needs to end here. Those were some brave words. Borealis, said Siegfried, such a shame they will be your last. Now, I will crush you. The battle continued. Everybody stood back and watched as the leaders of both sides battled it out. There were the clinging of swords, and fireballs flew everywhere. You're not as strong as I thought you were, growled Siegfried. Non-magicians don't deserve to live. They deserve to make their own choices in life, Siegfried, said Mary Borealis bravely. Then take a deep breath, Borealis, yelled Siegfried with a snarl. For it will be your last, and all non-magical beings will be joining you. At first it looked like the mighty Emperor Siegfried was going to win. But Mary Borealis got back up and fought back. Then, she fired energy blasts at the subterouter Emperor. Even dark magic has its limits, said Mary Borealis. You're so pathetic, said Siegfried. You still recruit weaklings. Where you see them as weak, I see them as strength, said Mary. It's just you and me, Siegfried said Mary Borealis. No, and you must get some help. Borealis, yelled Siegfried with a loud evil Both sides snore. waited a really long time for this. They watched as the leaders of both sides stood before each other. Two sorcerers enter this battle, only one will leave, said Mary Borealis bravely. Now, it looked like Siegfried was losing. 
But suddenly, the Emperor came out stronger than before and began hitting Mary Borealis really hard. You still fight for those that are weak, yelled Siegfried, that is why they're called losers. We shall see, yelled Mary Borealis. The two leaders charged at each other. Then, there was a massive explosion. During the explosion, Mary Borealis was overpowered, and Siegfried transformed her into a beached bowhead whale. She completely lost her voice, and she couldn't move. She was no longer a threat to the Emperor. Finally, yelled Siegfried, victory is mine. Now I shall rule the world. Grace leapt at her uncle, but Siegfried overpowered her as well, and turned her into a small toad. This caused Jeanette to go into a rage. Siegfried, she growled, you monster, you coward, you baby napper. Siegfried just laughed, believing that victory was almost his. The enraged Jeanette and a few others charged at Alerba. Jeanette killed him by clawing at his throat. Jeanette's cubs stayed right by Angela's side while Lola hid herself in the trees. All of the Kabbalistics battled Siegfried and all the remaining sub -tarauders. But, they were no match for the powerful Emperor. At that point, I opened my eyes, slightly. Haley, said Fisher, you're healed. You're well. It's a miracle, said Buck. But before they could do anything, Siegfried entered the train car and immobilized them both. The chosen one must die, he roared as he got out the dark dagger. Outside the train, Peter showed up. Yoroi tried to attack Peter with a sword and a spin blade. Peter drove through on his motorcycle and shot Yoroi in the chest twelve times with his hunting rifle. I believe in M-A-G-I-C, he yelled. Yoroi fell to the ground, presumably dead. But then, he got back up and was much angrier than he was before.